today I'm going to be reviewing the Spiritual Seeds Planner. And I was really impressed because I had requested to review this planner and the company so graciously provided me with a copy of the planner and also some other great products which I will briefly go over with you as well. So these can all be found on their website which I will post in the description. So first there was this beautiful tote bag. It says the um, verse from Galatians 5, 22-23, um, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, joy, kindness, patience, faithfulness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. So really nice quality tote bag, which I will definitely be using, probably to carry around some of my Bible supplies. And then they also had included um, this little pencil pouch here. Let me see. I believe I have a list here of everything so I can give you the specific terms of what they're called on their website. Yes, I do. So uh, the one that I just showed you is the Fruit of the Spirit tote bag. And then we have the logo pencil case set. So you see here we have this nice pencil case, says Spiritual Seeds Planner. And then within that, there is a little... A notepad that says plant cultivate grow spiritual seeds and then we also have four of these professional pens for art drawing there's a black pink yellow and green I'm just kind of see I believe these are double-sided yes they are so there's a thinner side here and then the thicker and more like a marker on the other side Okay, so there's that. And then the next thing is the sticker book. So this is nearly 900 stickers to help you plant, cultivate, and grow this year. And I won't page through all of them, but just kind of give you an idea of what is in here. You can tell that the Spiritual Seeds Planner um, company here is focused on the fruits of the spirit. So everything is based around that theme, which I love. And also, they say a lot of, um, pretty much everything here says the plant, cultivate, grow. So that's kind of their um, motto or vision statement, so to speak. So some really cute, like, gardening-themed stickers in here that you can use in your planner or for Bible journaling. We have time with God, the Word, some trees, little hearts, lemons, fruits, Bible study. It's just a really cute sticker pack here. And like I said, there's quite a few. I think it says over 900 stickers. There's some scripture in here, some little sayings like, Our weakness is God's strength, be the good neighbor, pray more, worry less. So these will be a great tool to decorate my planner with once I start doing that. Okay, and then the only thing I haven't shown you yet, I believe, is the planner. So let's get all this out of the way so we can bring this on in here. Um, these tabs came with the planner. I thought I opened these already, but apparently I did not. Okay, luckily they open easily. I was going to say if it was going to be me struggling to open them, I was not going to do so, but they open pretty easily. So we have tabs here, we have some more stickers, and these came with the planner. And then this is just a little, kind of a going through all the fruits of the spirit here to give you a better idea of what each one is. And those actually come with the planner. The, this book you buy separately. Okay, so let's get to the part that we're all waiting for, the planner itself. So this is the Spiritual Seeds Planner 2023 Weekly Planner, and it says get ready for a year of setting spiritual goals based on the fruit of the Spirit, starting with reflection, then building daily, weekly, monthly actions to live more like Christ, plant, cultivate, and grow. I love this. I was really excited. I've been looking at a bunch of different planners, and I'm going to use a couple different ones for different purposes next year, but I was really excited to see this one because the part that really sold me was I'm um, setting spiritual goals based on the fruits of the spirit. I just thought that was a really cool idea. I'm really excited about that. So this comes with a strap 
you can put over the cover to close it. It also comes with a ribbon marker, so you can mark your place, which I thought that was really neat. And then, I'm again, I'm going to put this in the description, but their website is spiritualseedsplanner.com. Um, you're going to see some downloads, examples, and then you'll be able to purchase any of these supplies if you would like to do that. And it says, we also encourage you to share your journey with others, church groups, book club, friends, and family. Take this opportunity to grow together. So I'm going to remove this just so I can a little more easily page through the planner. They're also on social media if you're interested in connecting with them or looking at their pages. This is uh, the blueberry cover. I believe there's a pink, and I know there's another cover too. I, might, I can't remember right now. I know there's a pink one. There might be a brown or a black. I can't remember at the moment, but they're all listed out on their website, which I will include in the description. Um, scripture quotations in this, there's some from the NIV. There's some from the ESV. Looks like there's some from the Living Bible, New King James Version, and New Life Version as well. So you're going to see that for the Spiritual Seeds Planner, our story, um, best practices, and our promise. And then again, you get this lovely spread showing all the fruits of the Spirit. And then that little explanation going through for each of the fruits and a scripture verse to go with each one. This goes through how to use your spiritual seeds planner. Um, step one is the monthly plotting. So there's a fruit of the month, um, my prayer for this fruit, and then it goes through to talk about family and friends, community, um, self and personal well-being, vocation and work. And then step two is to plant, cultivate, grow. And it just goes through, like for each life plot, list actionable ways you'll plant, cultivate, and grow fruit. Be specific, list names, events, resources, and it gives you some different examples of how to do that. Then over here for step three, there's weekly cultivation. Um, so again, you list out the fruit of the month. There's a space for a to-do list. Um, you can write a scripture or note for inspiration. And then each day, as you're going to see in just a minute here when I go to the actual pages, is broken down into time segments from 7 a.m., to 7 p.m. Now, of course, you could definitely cross those out, white those out, or just write in whatever you want, but they are there um, for guidance if you would like to do that. There's also room, there's room for notes. You can write in scriptures, prayer requests, gratitude messages. So you can basically use this for any purpose. It can be like for a Bible study planner to write out scripture, or it can be to just plan your day, or whatever you choose there. Step four is the fruit vision. So, for example, if you were writing about joy, uh, you could refer to your monthly reflection, write how this fruit grew in you this month, how did it look to start, and how did it look at the end of the month, and is there still room to grow? For peace, an example would be, I savored each day as a blessing instead of being filled with worry. Well, that one was pretty much written for me, so I have to think about that for this next year. Um, here is the fruit vision board. So you see vision boards and some of the other Christian planners that are available as well. This one is similar, but it just lays out each fruit of the spirit. So you can write notes, you can do art or whatever. Um, whatever you so choose to lay out your plan for the year, your vision, um, following each of the fruits of the spirit. So what are you going to do this year involving patience, gentleness, faithfulness, etc.? And then we have a 2023 and 2024 just um, calendar at a glance here um, with major holidays listed. And then here you have just some extra space for journaling or notes before we get into January. So January says, stop trying to work life out on your own. Let God complete what he has started. And then reference to Philippians 1.6. The paper is pretty thick in this, too. It feels like you could definitely use a lot of different pens or art mediums, whatever you choose to use, and it's not going to soak through or bleed through these pages. So that's a definite plus of this planner. For monthly plotting, again, we already kind of talked about this, but just so you can see the page a little up close here, the one you actually write on, it gives you space for a fruit of the month. So you choose one of the fruits of the Spirit. You write a prayer out for that. And then what will you plant, cultivate, and grow? 
um, this month regarding that fruit in the areas of family, friends, community, self, personal, well-being, and vocation or work. There's some line space to write out any notes that you would like. There is um, a scripture verse here. This is the monthly layout for you to write in. You know, you could write in what you're studying that day or you could write in appointments or whatever works for you there. This is the weekly spread then. So again, you can list that fruit of the month. There's a to-do list. There's space at the bottom of the page for additional notes. And then you have each day of the week. It starts with Monday, ends with Sunday, and it breaks it down into segments of time from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And that spread is going to be the same for every week. And then of course, the beginning of each month, Again, there's going to be, for every month, there's going to be that first page. Um, it gives you a monthly scripture, which I like too. You can meditate on that month. And then it goes into the monthly plotting, the um, layout for that month, the calendar for the month, and then it goes into the weekly calendars. So that's the same layout you're going to see throughout each month of the year. And I believe that's about everything Let's make sure I didn't miss anything at the end of the planner there are going to be several sheets of lined paper um, that you could use for notes journaling writing out prayers or prayer requests and then we're going to get to the end of the planner there is a pocket here a paper pocket that you could use to store stickers or um, a couple post-it notes or whatever you're wanting to store there so that is the Spiritual Seeds Planner. I love the cover as well. I don't think I mentioned, but it has this beautiful um, tree on it. Lists out all the fruits of the Spirit. It has that Spiritual Seeds um, 2023 Weekly Planner written out at the bottom there. And it's pretty thin. It's a little bigger. Like, I have smaller hands, but it's a little bigger than my hand here. So it's not tiny, but it's not huge either, and I really like the size because it gives you enough room to write in it without it being super bulky and not able to fit in your bag. So that is the Spiritual Seeds Planner. If you have any questions, feel free to list them below, and I will, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll get back to you on that. Um, this is a really great company to work with. Like I said, they sent me all these beautiful products. They're all definitely worth it if you were checking them out on their website. The tote bag's very well made. Um, there's some option to get some extra stickers and then of course the planner which you do get some stickers with included with the planner as well and it's going to be a great tool for me to use in 2023 to really focus on the fruits of the spirit in my own life and how I can apply that to my day-to-day -day living so for that reason especially I would definitely recommend you check out the spiritual seeds planner